Hello people, this is Wario and welcome back to a new video. Apparently Luigi's Mansion have more beta elements than I managed to cover in my previous Luigi's Mansion video. So let's take a look. In the data of Luigi's Mansion there are actually 4 unused rooms that are playable using an action replay code. 3 of these rooms were early versions of the gallery, while the final one seemed to be a very early version of the front hall. This test level is very glitchy and has a few features around it, such as fire, Mario's painting and a crying toad in the corner. We can also see a King Boo without his crone. This is most likely a test room to test the different features in the game. Many unused models and textures can be found throughout the folders of Luigi's Mansion, like this unused creepy door. While all other doors belong in a folder called Models, this door belongs in the Effect folder, meaning it could have a completely different purpose. A model of an unused diamond called the Turara can also be found. If this is an early design of a diamond or if it is a completely different valuable object is still unknown. A model for a huge unused creature can also be found. It has no textures but 6 animations are actually made to the creature. According to the file name it was called L, and looking at the body shape it was probably going to be an outside creature. An unused Mario model can also be found in the coding. This Mario model is a completely different model than we see in the ending sequence of the game. This model is stretched out to fit Luigi's bones and polygons. He is also equipped with the Poltergaster 3000, meaning Luigi's Mansion could actually have a multiplayer feature planned, and Mario was also probably considered as an unlockable character after the game was complete. For more unused models, we have a flag, an early design of the Poltergaster 3000, and two pumps. These are the pumps for the Poltergaster 3000, and it would change depending on what element Luigi had in the Poltergaster. Looking at gameplay from the E3, we can actually see the blue pump when Luigi had the water element in the Poltergaster, but this was removed and the Poltergaster remained red all the time, probably because ice and fire elements were added later on. Two unused textures for the Shy Guy Ghost can also be found in the coding, and a ghost we don't see in the final game can be found in the files called the Meteor Ball ghosts, that apparently would appear in the observatory. Looking at the end of the E3 trailer for Luigi's Mansion, we can see a sad, scary ending to the game. Luigi pops up with a sad or demonic expression on his face as thunder strikes. This was most likely the beta game over sequence. The same scary looking Luigi can be found in the files, along with two other happy Luigis. This would most likely represent the rank you would get when you finish the game, the sad Luigi being the worst rank. If this was because Luigi went into a deep depression or if he's actually possessed by a ghost, is still unknown. However, the same scary Luigi can be seen in a third place in the game. Using an action replay code, we can see an unused feature for Luigi. The animation and feature is called Poison, and when activating it using an action replay, Luigi will put his hands to his throat as if it was choked. He would lose a lot of health and coins until the effect disappeared. During this effect, however, Luigi would flash through this demonic Luigi type. If we pause the screen at the correct moment, we can see Luigi being that sad, depressed, or demonic like Luigi version that we know from from the end of the E3 trailer. This could indicate that instead of poison, Luigi could actually be possessed by a ghost. At the end of the animation, Luigi will shake his head and he will turn back to normal. In these two previous pictures or clips that we've seen of this depressed Luigi, his face seems a lot wider than it is normally. Looking at the poison effect, he also has this big cheek if we pause at the right moment. In Luigi's Mansion, you would turn on the lights in the room as you clear them for ghosts. The hallways in the mansion, however, would only light up when you defeat the main ghost of the area. The final hallway in the game, however, doesn't have any final area boss, since the boss after this is King Boo. Therefore, the light in this final hallway will never light up in the game. Using an action replay, we can actually turn on the lights in this room, meaning that there may have been a boss planned to be before King Boo. Looking further into unused content, we can find 4 unused dialogue icons. These all belong to a green toad, a yellow ghost, Bowser and Mario. As we know, Bowser isn't actually represented in Luigi's Mansion, it's just a fake robot Bowser that King Boo uses to attack. This may mean that Bowser was actually going to be a real boss. And neither a green toad, a yellow ghost or Mario never speaks in the game. This unused key can also be found in the data. We don't know if this is actually just an early design of the keys we found normally, or if this is a different key that had a different purpose. Several unused songs can also be found in the coding of the game, such as Tutaka's song. Tutaka's song is a song hidden in nearly every game that Tutaka has made. However, this version of Tutaka's song is actually played on a piano. This may indicate that the Tutaka song was actually going to be in the piano quiz. <laughs> Thank you. 
And finally we have this unused graphics of Luigi's hand. That is all beta elements I have for Luigi's Mansion, so thank you so very much for watching. If you have more beta elements that you know about, please post them in the comments below. And leave a like rating if you enjoyed this video. And also make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in my next video, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Thank you.